If you look around, I mean, it is beautiful out here. You can't feel the sun in a video, you can't hear the birds, but it is just stunningly beautiful. Our natural areas, are, um, our nature preserves like this one, are really important. We um, have a criteria that we look at when acquiring um, new land. We look at it from a couple different lenses. Number one, the recreational value of the property. We look at educational value, and then we look at the uniqueness and sensitivity of, of the ecosystem that we're trying to protect. It's just an open canvas for people to enjoy the property and explore and spend, spend the day. Our land preservation program, the Natural Area Preservation Program, we call NAP, is a big part of making sure that we protect these uh, important areas. I think you're looking at just an incredible program here to preserve these natural areas and to preserve the funding so they can be maintained in perpetuity. The other unique thing is the people of Washtenaw County. They cherish uh, the natural areas. They cherish our, our, our farming heritage. They put their money and their time and their resources behind that, approving the, the, the funding, the millage funding that supports our, our NAP program that allows us to, to be successful and to preserve um, over 9,000 acres of, of land in Washtenaw County. The thing that um, we were struggling with though is we've been very successful in, in purchasing this, this land and preserving it in perpetuity but we wanted to make sure that we could also care for it in, in, in perpetuity. We, we're charged with being the stewards of the land. And while times are good, we're buying a lot of property, we're opening preserves, a couple every year, but eventually the millage money will go away. So we wanted to make sure that we were being responsible stewards of this land and setting aside money now so future generations can care for the property. That was the challenge that we were, were faced with. We went to Catherine's office and said, you know, how can we make this happen? What is the proper model? We wanted to come up with some sort of a, an endowment fund, something that could help us um, set that money aside and, and watch it grow. And uh, Catherine was uh, in her office was very successful helping us come up with a plan. So we believe that this program is replicable for the entire region. I'd be willing to work with any treasurer in any of the seven counties. Um, we have already uh, done the projections, what we would need for future maintenance. We have issued an RFP, so we have samples of that. We have a written investment policy. We have contracted with an investment advisor and with a custodian to hold the funds safely. So we think it's replicable and we think the public would support it. We want this for generations. We want our children and our grandchildren to be able to enjoy what Coy and I are enjoying now today. The next question was we had another very similar program um, in the Border to Border Trail. Um, that one again has a dedicated funding source. It has a millage that provides money to build, build trails across the county and we were in a very similar situation where we have the funding now to do a lot of good things um, the Border Border Trail is a, a 55 mile trail system connecting all the, the parks and communities in Washtenaw County. Uh, we have about 38 miles completed um, to date, but it's harder to raise money to pass a millage to maintain something that you acquired. So Catherine and her office has allowed us to be sustainable long term and provide these uh, places for future generations. And my husband and my daughter, they ride the Border to Border Trails on their bikes all the time. It's going to be phenomenal to connect our entire region with non-motorized trails. My daughter's 10 and she has ridden much of the trail and she just talks to me every time she comes out to the Chelsea area where you can go under the tunnel under M52 and stay on your bicycle and be safe. Our uh, natural areas are important, not just for recreation, but also for green infrastructure. They're uh, a way to clean the, the water, you know, fewer water treatment plants, a way to deal with storm water, flood control. Um, a lot of our uh, preserves are along the Huron River, um, so it does provide the um, capacity for our land to work in the way that it does naturally without man-made solutions. 
it has an impact on the communities for sure.